So we're uh, vlogging again in the dark. You can probably tell it's going to be another sadder vlog. So, um, I've been doing this for a month now. Um, I think that's okay. Pretty good going. But um, I've decided to um, relax the constraints of the channel. And um, to explain why, I'd like to tell you what happened um, the past few days, because I found it a bit stressful. Um, like I said on Saturday, I was trying to charge this by cycling most of the day. Um, in total, I racked up about six, over six hours on Saturday. In total, over the two days, it was... I'd say between six and a quarter and six and three quarters. Let's call it six and a half hours over the weekend. And um, today I decided, okay, I'm going to use this power to charge up, all this hard-earned uh, power to uh, charge up my phone. I press the button and this happens. Where is it? There it is. Yeah, critical low power. Didn't understand it. I was hopping mad. Um, we measured the voltage across the battery, and it's gone up. So charge has gone into the battery. But it's refusing to charge my phone. Probably for reasons to do with not wanting to... You don't want to discharge a battery too much. You don't want to sort of... You get into trouble with either damaging the battery or um, making it difficult to charge, something like that. So it's probably some sort of under-voltage protection. But the thing is, it is not at a dangerous voltage. Like, um, I think it's a 3 volt max, 3 volt minimum. Um, and this was flashing before at 3.6, and now it's at about 3.74. Um, so it's, it's, it's way above the minimum voltage that it could be, so maybe it's some sort of really strict protection or something, I don't know. But man, that was so frustrating. Um, and there's other stuff as well, like, um, I actually ordered another four more dynamos, so that was going to almost double the amount of power I'd get out of each cycle. Um, so I could almost have generated sort of almost double. So maybe, maybe if I'd got those dynamos, uh, it wouldn't be in a situation where I can charge the phone. But um, yeah, that's the way it goes. Like they didn't arrive on the Friday, so I can use them on the Saturday. Um, so they arrived today, and I was going all around to different bike shops, and they either were fully booked with bikes to repair or they didn't have the parts so I can get them fitted even today and it's just been stress it's been so stressful um, and I haven't realized how much it's been affecting me until today like it's starting to affect my my happiness and my mental health and I've got to know my limits and respect them and I think uh, I need to start using mains electricity in order to cook because I haven't really been eating properly, I'll be honest, um, for work because I've been falling behind on like programming exercises and stuff. I mean, I've been doing them on paper, but I haven't been able to test them because I just haven't had enough power. Um, and... Also, I'd like to talk to my mum because she's going through some tough times at the moment and I just haven't really been there for her. And mum, I know you're watching this and I'm sorry. I'm sorry I've been wrapped up in this, wrapped in, up in my own stuff and haven't made time for you. And I feel kind of I feel really bad about that, I'm sorry, but 
it's going to be different now. Um, I'll use mains electricity for those things. It's not like I'm completely giving up. I'm still not going to use mains electricity for anything else. There's all the details in the blog post of what I'm going to be using mains for, but nothing um, non-essential. Like, I won't be able to play video games. Oh, video games. Um, I won't be... I'll only use it where I have to, where, where, it, where it matters, where it's important. Um, so, yeah. The last thing I wanted to talk about was um, just how, like, the way that because I've sort of failed this challenge why is it so difficult? I don't think it should be that way I don't think it I don't think in order to be sustainable you should have to sacrifice your happiness or your physical well-being or your education because like I keep saying people used to live without mains electricity just fine and people still do today in some parts of the world and you don't see them like not being happy uh, and yeah I don't think it should be this difficult there's there's something wrong here I think uh, yeah just want to get people thinking about that so um for the rest of Lent, I'm going to continue doing these vlogs, continuing to talk about topics, about sustainability. I'm still going to be working on the bike, trying to get as much energy out of that as possible, maybe exploring other routes for generating electricity. Um, it's just those three things, really. I think I'm, I don't think I've got much of a choice. I think I need to start using mains for that, for my own sake, for people around me who are getting quite worries um, yeah that's it bit moody today sorry about that I'll uh, cheer up by next time see ya